मैं सेवेंटी टू से बुद्धिस्ट हूँ और हम लोगों ने बौद्ध धर्म को राजस्थान में फैलाने का काम जब से कर रहे थे परंतु ये किसी भी बौद्ध भिक्षु ने हम लोगों को नहीं बताया कि विपसना के माध्यम से दुखों को दूर किया जा सकता है शांति का मार्ग दिया जा सकता है केवल हम बौद्ध धर्म को फैलाने का काम कर रहे हैं बाबा साहब डॉक्टर अम्बेडकर जी ने चौदह अक्टूबर उन्नीस को बौद्ध धर्म को पुनर्जीवित देश में किया था इसलिए उसी के रास्ते पर हम बाबा साहब के मिशन को लेकर के हम पूरे राजस्थान में चल रहे हैं तो आज हमें दस दिन हो गए दस दिन में जो हमने जो ध्यान साधना के माध्यम से जो हमने रास्ता देखा है वो सभी बौद्धों को प्रेरित करेगा और हमारा प्रयास रहेगा कि इस ध्यान साधना के लिए जिस तरीके से हमने बौद्ध धर्म को आगे बढ़ाने का काम किया है हमें पूरे प्रदेश में ध्यान साधना को लेकर के हम काम करेंगे और ध्यान साधना से ही जीवन का भला हो सकता है शांति मिल सकती है भाईचारा बढ़ सकता है जो मूर्त है तथागत गौतम बुद्ध का समानता और शांता समानता और शांति का जो मार्ग दिया है उसको आगे ले जा और इसी से देश का भला होगा इसी से सब जनता Yeah, I didn't plan actually to do any retreat. It was really surprising or, um, let's say, uh, divinely guided to be here. Um, and I'm just speechless, honestly, because the experience was very, very powerful. Um, and if you had to invite somebody over here, what would you say uh, uh, that what happens over here? Um, yeah, I would say it's not only meditation, it's very much more. It's like a life practice, practicing that loving kindness and joy and equa equanimity. How do you say that? Equanimity. Equanimity. <laughs> um, as well as going deep inside its own mind and seeing how it works and seeing what are the distractions and some sorry tendencies of, of our, yeah, ourselves. This can give us really, uh, yeah, beautiful life, beautiful mind, beautiful planet of people who really are aware and who really care for each other. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Like. Thank you. <laughs> I heard this retreat from my teacher, Bodhimitra Bhantiji. I had a beast to visit. I, I want to learn Vipassana in practical yesterday. I read a lot of suttas lot of uh, many many things I heard from senior monks but I didn't uh, practice it so I told my teacher that I want to practice that I want to experience what I am learning from the suttas so I came here to Kalimpo to I, I experience this how was your 10 days it was amazing Monday. actually I'm experiencing exactly what sutta said I can match the suttas and the experience comparatively. Very good. That is the experience I have got here. Very good. Yes, and uh, if you had to invite somebody else, uh, what would you uh, say about what is the uh, practice over here which you are doing? So I want to say it is a, it is a proper guidance. Uh, you know, uh, we have experienced monks like you, those who, are, those who can guide properly. And loving kindness much helper than the other other uh, object of meditation. So I would say it is uh, much easier to understand the vipassana with the help of metta. So you should go for metta meditation. Beautiful. It's just divinely uh, guided. So I think like I was coming from in the reverse way because I meditate since many years and I was uh, not knowingly in this you know, blissful space uh, 
and loving kindness and yeah, just having this uh, experiences often. But I never read any sutras and I didn't know any sutras and I uh, never experienced any Buddhist meditation. Though a few years ago, two years ago, I met Dzogchen teacher. And they are very, very different. <laughs> So, the first days when I had to um, focus on the spiritual friend, that was for me, wow, <laughs> I had to focus on something. <laughs> um, so this concept arrived, oh my god, I have to focus on some concepts. And that was not easy, but thank you, you were guiding me straight to um, not really focus on the spiritual friend, so that was experience after really and I arrived to the space that really touched me deeply and like seen the delusion really delusion of yeah some concepts at the end arriving to the space of no names you know <laughs> uh, no no nothing just no nothing all oneness all same Feeling like it doesn't matter what names, doesn't matter what definition, doesn't matter you know, concepts. As I'm rather at the point of dissolving all the concepts, just no mind. <laughs> so for me, was actually coming into this. Oh, I can smile because I didn't. I never thought about smiling during the meditation. <laughs> and uh, yeah. And no mind, just no mind, yes, I, I, I feel like I, I'm fine without the concepts, though it was very beautiful teachings, Buddha teachings, the sutras, um, I'm really grateful for that, because this delusions came also from this understanding, and um, it feels like, you know, these delusions which I find within, in the inside, just like this is what I would like to probably share, you know, like uh, dissolving our own delusion is helping uh, all others to dissolve the delusion. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm grateful for that and if I, uh, you know, recommend to others, I would say probably depends very much on what level people are, what they do, what they try before, so maybe for many it's you know, the finding the spiritual friend or loving compassion or sutras or smiling for me was about smiling <laughs> during yes. the meditation. So, so yeah, thank you so much. Does it matter uh kitra asana? Oh Jarun may have all good sika. Pile the sikada, like a job pile to sikada was crazy or takati. तो शक्ति दी वो ज़्यादा सुदृढ़ हो गई अच्छा अगर आप किसी को बुलाते हैं यहाँ पे तो क्या आ, क्या आप शब्द इस्तेमाल करेंगे कि यहाँ पे आके क्या आपको मिल सकता है हाँ जैसे अभी मेरे पत्ते को भी मैंने तैयार किया घर में उसको पता ही नहीं था क्या करते हैं उसको इतना ही पता था कि पाली भाषा में पढ़ रहे हैं मेरे पति और कई जगह पर मेडिटेशन में जाते हैं दस दस दिन आते नहीं है उधर ही करते हैं और मौन भी होना करना पड़ता है और शरीर में काफी तकलीफ होती है तो मैंने उसको समझाया शरीर में तकलीफ होती है होती है ठीक है लेकिन तो कर करके तो देखो आके तो देखो क्या होता है तो आ गया तो अभी जब बंदे ने आपने ओपन कर दिया तो मैं पूछा कि आपको शरीर तकलीफ हुई क्या मैं बिल्कुल नहीं क्योंकि यहाँ की जो पद्धति है जो सिस्टम है बैठने की चलने की वो काफी अच्छी है तो डरने की कोई बात नहीं है यहाँ आके यहाँ जो भी कोई आता है तो उसको बहुत फायदा ही होगा जिंदगी में फायदा ही होगा दस दिन में तो पहले पाँच छह दिन तो मुझे मीन्स मैं मेरा पहला ही एक्सपीरियंस है इसलिए मुझे कुछ मालूम ही नहीं था कैसे स्टार्ट करूँ आपने बताया हुआ मुझे बहुत बार समझ में भी नहीं आ रहा था फिर बाद में 
आपने बहुत अच्छा समझाने के बाद मुझे मालूम हुआ और सातवें दिन मुझे हैप्पीनेस हुआ बहुत अच्छा हाँ फिर मैं बैठने लगी और खुशी से मेडिटे मेडिटेशन करने लगी अगर आपको किसी को आपको यहाँ पे किसी को इनवाइट करना है तो आप क्या बोलेंगे कि यहाँ पे क्या होता है किस तरह से विश्व शर्मा शिविर में हमें दुख से मुक्ति का से मार, मार्गदर्शन किया जाता है और फिर हमारे लाइफ में कैसे हम हैप्पी रह सकते हैं उनको मैं बताऊँगी बॉम्बे फ्रॉम अ वेरी बिजी लाइफ बिजनेस लाइफ दिस इज माई फर्स्ट टाइम इन मेडिटेशन and uh, coming from a busy life to the basic living habits was uh, what i was looking forward to it was a great uh, detox for my body for my digestion mentally and most important digitally <laughs> uh, the first 3 days uh, were very pleasant because uh, it was a lot of relaxation the next 3 days were the most difficult because uh, people from city are not used to sitting in one place beyond 3 days and uh, that was the most difficult time but uh, i think uh, the loving kindness and the smile helped me to remain uh, to the program once uh, that happened the next 4 days were very joyous very happy moments and uh, it was very fulfilling and if you have to invite somebody to this retreat what would you say uh, to them the twin methodology of uh, using smile as a very powerful tool and uh, further enhancing it with loving and kindness to radiate uh, joy happiness and uh, to transform oneself uh, mentally uh, emotionally and body is uh, extremely beneficial uh, not just for oneself but also for people who will be around you so oh, the 10 days um, first of all i did not know what vipassana was actually though i had attended a very brief course during my college days but uh, i i had no idea ki what would be in store for me in vipassana so when i heard it and when i heard the name kalim pong i said let's give it a try and uh, definitely it was very difficult for me in the initial days to even sit for half uh, as uh, like being in mumbai we know how the uh, you know how our daily routine life starts with just running around so initially sitting for half an hour also was very difficult but the moment you have taught us to feel the loving kindness mind that really helps us to sit a little longer and think about you know bringing that smile to your face so definitely i learned that when we smile from our inner self we can sit for some time and think about it and meditate a little more so initial first 5 days i could not sit i gradually increased and i have really managed to complete uh, you know sitting for few hours with a focus uh, which was not there in my uh, this thing at all in my mind and if you have to invite somebody what would you say uh, you would get over here uh definitely i would tell my friends because we hear different things about the pasana whatever they say but what i liked here was the way you put it to use it practically in our daily lives the simile between coming here and go back and take back and use it in your daily life definitely i recommend them to come and spend some time here it's a beautiful place also very nice the scenery itself arouses a lot of uh, feelings in your uh, heart maine jo 10 din mein yahan seekha hai wo pure zindagi mein kaam aane wali cheez seekhi hai aur jo aapke dwara jo seelon ke bare mein bataya gaya main nishchit hi yahan se ye pratigya karke ja raha hu ki 500 seelon ka jitna palan kar sakunga wo palan karunga और ये शेयर करूंगा सभी लोगों को कि हैप्पीनेस कैसे होता है हम खुश कैसे रह सकते हैं जीवन में पूरे जीवन में हम तनाव की जिंदगी जीते हैं वो हम कैसे उसको अच्छी जिंदगी दुखों को कैसे सुख में बदल सकते हैं 
और जब हमें ये बदलाव दिखेगा तो निश्चित ही लोग हमसे पूछेंगे ये बदलाव कैसे हुआ है और इसके लिए सभी लोग प्रेरित होकर हम शेयर करेंगे कि आप इस तरह शिविर में जाइए आप भी दुखों से दूर हो जाओगे दुखों से मुक्त हो जाओगे और यही सबसे अच्छा मार्ग है इसके अलावा दुनिया में कोई मार्ग नहीं है so, meditation practice is not new for me. I've been doing Vipassana meditation practice for for decades. Uh, but in uh, Vipassana meditations, they tell you to look within. So this is uh, something new. Brahma Vishara is something new. So he taught us to be send uh, to send metta to other people. So I have a lot of uh, sick friends. Mm-hmm. And I was I have been help, helpless to help them out. So with this metta, I feel so good within myself. I feel okay. so good. So ambience of the place is very good. You can early in the morning you can hear the chirping of bird and humming of bees and all. So it makes you all the more special. Okay. Food is also good. So I've been practicing this uh, seriously from the day one. So I'm sure it really benefited me and uh, I seem to understand depth of knowledge is so vast, uh, changes is not enough. But if people revise the self-discipline, like the teaching says, then the world will be a very wonderful place to live. So I'm going to tell all my friends to go for 10 years course. I had a very good experience. The initial days, not so much. A lot of body pain, wanting to not sit, not understanding the teaching, what is metta, what is loving kindness. And but towards the end, from day eight, okay. it's like what metta is and how I can radiate it, how I can feel it. Okay. And it's a great experience because I have been meditating for a few years and uh, I never. I was very, I had blockages around sending metta okay. or sending loving kindness. Okay. It never clicked until now. So okay. I'm really happy. And if you had to invite somebody, what would you say that what is this practice and how would you invite somebody? I would tell them, I don't know. I, if they come to me and they ask me, oh, you look happier. Why is that? Then I let them know about the experience I had here. I would let them know about you and the knowledge you possess, the power of the teaching that I felt personally. And um, yeah, ten days experience the journey was very difficult for me because uh, the way my career was, the way my life was, my life was very fast and it was very stressful life. Of course, I didn't realize it's stressful because we were so used to with it. And uh, when I retired, that was last year, Vipassana was a uh, one of the bucket list. Mm, like I have to do Vipassana, though I did not know much about Vipassana, and I didn't know the gravity of Vipassana, but I knew that I had to go for it. That is my first thing. But unfortunately, I could not uh, register myself with other. Uh, centers because they were quite full but it so happened that uh, my dear friend who lives here and she's here participating Miss uh, Roma Moktan I'm thankful to her she brought me here she showed me and she told me that we must go and it was an opportunity for me to do this and my journey was like uh, it was difficult because uh, because of my background and uh, but uh, initial days, few days was very tough for me. I didn't realize why it was so tough. And uh, I came to you. I told you my problem. Like I was not able to send a loving kindness to my metta. My metta was just disappearing, running away from me. So you, then you realize what was the problem with me. And. Uh, you changed me into a meditation further to forgive, uh, forgive, forgive meditation, message. which was uh, very good. Like 
that was something that has changed uh, my internal thing in such a way that uh, all this while, you know, as a human being, there are a lot of, uh, uh, you, are, you get hurt in different ways. And I was piling onto and blaming one person for a hurt. But when I went through this forgiveness, I realized that this hurt I was carrying for the last 25 years. And this hurt was just uh, like a um, football where I was to hit. But my pain and the hurt was for many years, which was released and it became very, very light. So that is the time. Either prior to that, I thought I will pack my bag and go back to Bombay. <laughs> which I didn't do it because he helped me out. Awesome. So yeah. I did manage to. If you have to invite somebody, what would you say what is happening in the 10 day retreat? I will go around. <laughs> I tell everybody, <laughs> you must go. Nobody should tell me anything. I will go around and say that you must do it. Okay. It was a bit difficult at first because um, most of us have a tendency to you know, distract ourselves from our problems. So I learned here to sit with them and not just ignore them. So it was difficult at first, but now I have learned that. If you had to invite somebody uh, to attend this uh, retreat, meditation retreat, what would you say to them? Well, see them, even if you're not religious, it has huge practical benefits. And if you are religious, you have faith, then it's just the cherry on the top of the cake. That's good. Kafi achha. I don't know how to say it, but experience is good. Achha. और अगर आप वो किसी को बताना है कि आप यहाँ पे आओ और ये करो तो कि ये कैसा है किस तरह बताएंगे हमारे साथ में जितने भी लोग हैं वो काफी लोग विपासना कर चुके थे तो उनका मानना था कि एक बार हम विपासना करें तो हमारे लोनवाले में एक मामूजी हैं मतलब बनते जी तो उन्होंने हमारे इस जगह पता दिया और सारी चीजें उन्होंने ही किया था तो अच्छा है और लोगों के काफी जगह की मतलब आगे समता विवासना की और एक बार लोग देखें ten days were very like fantastic let's say like lot of messages and learning things like which I never thought of also and how are you feeling kind of I really feel different, change, um, very light, relieved, the metta and sharing loving kindness, it really helped me. And if somebody, you had to invite somebody over here, what would you say, uh, what is this practice? Well, this practice, um, sending love, kindness, it really helps and it's, um, I feel it's very fast and effective, um, very short also and uh, if good determination, I think anyone can achieve the goal. In 10 days, we have a lot of fun and fun that we can never be able to live in our lives. It was very good. अगर आपको किसी को आपको यहाँ पे आपको किसी को आमंत्रण देना है तो आप क्या बोलेंगे कि क्या यहाँ पे होता है? हम उनको बोलेंगे कि आपके मन को शांति मिले या आपका भावना मिले तो आप उधर जाएं वहाँ जाके कुछ On behalf of uh, our Buddha Pala Institute, uh, I would like to offer our gratitude to Bandeji because Bandeji came all the way from Sri Lanka to the Himalaya of Kalimpong. <laughs> so uh, without you, it wouldn't be possible, this uh, retreat. And uh, also I would like to thank all the participants. So I feel this kind of retreat Especially in today's time, it is uh, very important uh, because people are going through so much of uh, suffering and uh, so much of stress and anxiety. Uh, and with this kind of practice, uh, self-discipline and uh, with uh, mind training, I think uh, this this kind of practice is very important. And, uh, uh, I think people, we, we, we can uh, uh, actually, you know, provide, it's our uh, uh, fortune that uh, we can provide this uh, service to, you know, people. 
and of course with with, with Pantiji's guidance. So thank you so much for everything. And on behalf of Buddha Pada, I would like to offer you uh, this scarf. Uh, this is a culture here, so uh, it's an auspicious scarf. We say that. Yeah. <laughs> 